you are what you eat. Hmm. <laughs> Live from our studio in Edison, New Jersey, it's Jersey's Talking with guest host, Rick Turner. Tonight, Rick's guests are actor and comedian, Charlie Callis. And from TV Guide Magazine, associate editor, Greg Fagan. Welcome home, New Jersey. Everybody, I'm Rick Turner filling in for Lee Leonard. I'm not Lee, obviously. Uh, how you doing, Frank? <laughs> how you doing, Rick? Welcome to Jersey's Talking. Thank you, Rick. That Great. is a little different for us, a little different for the uh, fellas here in the studio. Uh, you know, I'm Rick Turner, and I do a little show for the last uh, 13 years or so on uh, Time Warner Cable in Bergen County. That's right. All right, little. We started as like a public access show 13 mm -hmm. years ago, yep. and we built the show up into uh, the biggest cable st uh, system. Uh, show uh, that, that you've ever seen. <laughs> so uh, welcome to this show. They, they, they've been kind enough to have me down. Uh, Lee Leonard isn't here today, as you can see. He's, uh, he's out doing some banking. <laughs> right? he's, out, he's out at the ATM machine. There today. you go. Uh, <laughs> say hello to Frank Rosner. Frank, our old How you buddy doing, Frank. Everybody? Frank, you've Good been with me. You've been with me at uh, Channel 10 and Time Warner Cable for, for a long time. A long time. All right, you were down in Florida, and you flew all the way back just to do this. Just off the plane, Rick. Huh? Yeah, good, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is a little different, right? Oh, it's Look a little bit different. Look at the cameras. They're so yeah. big. They're huh? real. Yeah, they're big <laughs> we're, not, we're not used to cameras this big. Not, not this size. Yeah. Um, you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, the most <laughs> recognized face on Time Warner Cable. <laughs> right here. Right here. <laughs> and uh, today's program is rated PG for pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. PG for pretty good. Huh? <laughs> Frank, did you hear about this? In uh, TV Guide uh, magazine, they had an interview with Madonna where she says now that her baby, Lourdes' personality, is a combination of both she and the baby's father, Carlos Leon. Yeah. And I guess that makes sense since the baby can't read and prances around half naked all day. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, the American Academy of Pediatricians has condemned spanking as an effective means of disciplining children. Yeah. yeah. They do say, however, that it is a very effective method of disciplining Marv Albert. So, <laughs> so you want to, huh? we'll never let that die. Oh. Huh? <laughs> he may come back to sports That's television, right. but we'll never let it die. Never die. Uh, <laughs> in Italy, you're not know, having problems over there with the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Frank. Really? Yeah. Uh, construction has begun now. A couple of weeks ago, uh, they're using two support cables on the Leaning Tower of Pisa to prevent it from falling over. Oh. Yeah. You know, that sounds a lot better than the first plan they had. You know, the one where Pavarotti would hang off the other side to kind of help balance <laughs> out the thing. You know? <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because, you, you know, Pavarotti's a fat guy. Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> you know, he lost a little weight, but 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 make make no doubt, he's still a fat guy. <laughs> Pavarotti can lose all the weight he wants, but he's still a fat guy. Uh, President Clinton is facing criticism for receiving a uh, communion wafer oh. at a Catholic mass in South Africa last oh, week. Oh, really? Yeah. While Catholics are calling the act sacrilegious, Republicans are calling it just another illegal campaign contribution. Oh. So, oh. you know... Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Republicans will never let that die. <laughs> um, oh. While sightseeing, did you hear about this? No. While, si while sightseeing off the coast of Colombia, a boat carrying the Rolling Stones oh. caught on fire. You can't really? Yeah. No. Fortunately, Keith Richards Walker also acted as a flotation device. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it kind of kind of like huh? it kept them up. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> How about this, Frank? We got a desk, we got a we got a riser, we got yeah. we got rugs, we got everything. This huh? is great. Huh? It's just, great. just like our set a little yeah. bit, doesn't it? Just like ours. Well, e even the rug, look at that. Yeah, just just, just as dirty as ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rob Pilatu, is that his name? Rob Pilatu? I believe Half so. of Millie Vanilli Pilatu. was uh, buried over the weekend. Very no. sad. Yeah. Those attending the services were moved to tears when his partner Fabian Morvan lip synced the entire eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sad. <laughs> very sad. Look at that. Widen out a little bit. Widen out a little bit. Look at oh. this. Huh? You know, Frank, I lost all that weight. You've lost but I a lot I, of weight. I've still got the nice butt, though, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. I'll Everybody tells that. me, Rick, you've got a lovely butt. Really? <laughs> Just the other day, someone was telling me, Rick, you've got a great butt. 
Really? What was your response to that? I said, well, you know, Mr. Clinton, have you got enough problems? <laughs> 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 uh, more oh. mergers, more mergers <laughs> in the news. No. Yes, Frank, uh, Nations Bank and uh, Bank of America uh, are set wow. to merge, and also uh, First Chicago yeah. is said to be merging with Bank One. Oh. And what do we have? Just last week, Citicorp and uh, Travelers City merged. Group is right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this could turn out to be the largest U.S. merger huh. since Roseanne had sex with Tom Arnold. Ah. That's, that's how big it is. That's how. That's a big merger. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> kind of standing there, huh? <laughs> you say, where's Lee? Where's Lee Leonard? When's uh. he coming back? <laughs> uh, New Jersey native Tara Lipinski has decided now to uh, give up her amateur ice skating status and that's turn right. pro. That's right. Lipinski said that she wants to spend less time practicing and more time rolling around in, in a big tub of money naked. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> kind of oh. wants to. That's huh? a nice tub. <laughs> she hasn't got a butt like this, though, has nope. she? Huh? Not huh? even close. I haven't even skated a lick, Frank. And look ah. at that. Unbelievable. Uh, think about it now, Frank. If, uh, if Lipinski were to turn pro, yeah. she would be the first 16 year old to turn professional since Woody Allen married Stone Yates. Oh. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 voices from behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we have a terrific program. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> When's Lee coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Associate editor for TV Guide magazine, Greg Fagan is here. Yes. And also on the program, our good friend, been with us many times on our show in Palisades Park, Charlie Callis is yes. on the program, everyone. Uh, Charlie, Charlie Callis. Yes. Oh, excuse yeah. me, Rick. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tom, the star-struck cameraman, oh, everybody. Tom, yeah. we're, we're, we're kind of doing a little show here, and it's live. Can you give us a break here? I know, Rick, and we're all excited about your big opportunity here at Channel 50. Uh, that's it's Channel 12. Well, uh, whatever, Channel Rick. 12. <laughs> but as you know, I'm a big autograph collector. Right, I know And this that. is my big chance to get Charlie, uh, Charlie Callis' autograph for my collection. If you want to talk about big opportunities. Well, Tom, you know, there'll be plenty of time after the show, once it's over, we go to dark, you'll be able to take all the pictures and autographs that you want, all right? Can you do that for me, buddy? All right, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to contain my enthusiasm as I try to keep you in focus here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I get your point. All right. Is Charlie outside, Diane? Can we bring him in? Oh, let me check. Can right. we bring him in and let's do this real quick? Come on. Bring him in real quick and we'll sign some autographs. Charlie oh, there Callis. He is. There oh, he is. There he is. It's Charlie Callis. Callis. Hey, how you doing, pal? Hey, Tom, Charlie, Charlie Callis. Callis. Charlie yeah. Callis. Your Callis. signature eludes me no more. Could, oh. could, could, could you sign right here between Charles Grodin, 1972, and... Soupy Sales, 1968. <laughs> Who the hell? I don't know, but could you sign right between <laughs> them, please? <laughs> sign, sign the wait, book for Wait a minute, you gotta say hello to Curly first. Sign the book for Charlie. Charlie, do you want me to sign Curly? it's live TV. Oh, okay, we'll All sign right. it for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, All right, good. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Charlie, Char Charlie, Charlie one, more, one more, please. Could you sign the back here of my shirt for the guys back at the pool hall in Detroit? Yeah. The pool hall. <laughs> the pool hall wait a second, he's really signing his shirt. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All good right, luck. good. That's two Fine. autographs. Uh, 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 one one more, Mr. Callis. Mr. Callis, could you sign right here <laughs> for my wife, Betsy, right under <laughs> Bert no. Bacharach? No, oh, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, come on. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll uh, do a commercial uh, now, and we'll be right back with more of Charlie Callis and Jersey's talking. Come on back and join us, everybody. Hey, let's have some fun. Come on back. You better. <laughs> Want your message to reach over a million homes statewide? Advertise your business where New Jersey turns for news. Call News 12 New Jersey at this number. It's an audience worth reaching. So, uh, what does she look like? She's one of the brightest, most creative people I know. And what does she look like? She's an industrial designer. Industrial?